years of us left forgotten. You cannot remember is not important. Rusty's are knowing that you're being your brother Duke. startle you. No. Good morning, Anna. I came by to apologize for yesterday. You know, when I saw you in Duke's bed, I, I misunderstood. It's all right. I went to see Duke. He explained. What do you mean? What, what did he tell you? Well, I knew you were his sister. Did he... Did, did he say anything else? No. Just that your relationship must remain secret to protect you. Don't worry. I won't tell any of your friends. So after Duke discovered that you were his sister, something happened that he can't talk about. And uh, he said that if anyone was to find out, that we'd all be in a great deal of danger. Didn't he say anything else? No. I must admit, I, I tried to find out more, but he was adamant. Camelia, as much as I want to find out, I would never place you in any danger. I appreciate that, Anna. From what I understand, you don't know each other very well. That's right. It must have been hard for you coming here to Port Charles and discovering your brother in prison. It was a shock. You mustn't let that stop you from loving him. He's a wonderful man. He's wonderful and he's kind and... You know, he... He saved someone's life. Everything he's done, he, he's done for Robin and me to protect us. You love him very much, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I guess I must sound like some lovesick teenager. But I love him very much. He's everything I want in a man. grew to love him too, you know. I hope so. Yes, absolutely you will. Excuse me if this is personal, but, um, he told me that you had had some kind of breakdown after you met and you were sent away. Yes, yes, this is a period that I don't remember very well in my life. Well, that's over now. You won't ever be alone again. Now, as soon as Duke and I are married, we'll all be part of the same family. We'll take care of you. That's very kind of you. I'm not being kind. You're Duke's sister. And he loves you very much. I hope we'll be very close. Just came Felicia left a whole lot of things in the oh, kitchen. You really don't have to go to all this trouble. I'll be fine. Nonsense, you've got a cold. I should have realized you were sick when you weren't at the hospital working. Well, I, I don't feel that bad. It's just that I, I didn't think I should be around the patients. Come on, sit down. Drink your soup. It'll pick you up. This is very sweet of you. Well, we're nearly relatives. Robin's going to be so happy when she knows that you're Duke's sister. You've made quite an impression with her. Well... She's an adorable child. Thank you. Anna, I hope you don't mind if I ask you this, but, well, as I told you before, there's a period of my life that um, I, I don't remember. 
It's very disconcerting to me, and I was wondering, did Duke tell you anything? Anything that might help me to remember? I don't think he wants you to remember, Camelia. It's something that he doesn't want to talk about, and I don't think he wants you to try to remember. But it's important to me to know. Something caused my breakdown. I really need to know what it was. Well, didn't the therapist at the sanitarium help you? Yes, but... Uh, yeah, I've blocked it out completely. Maybe that's for the best. But why? Why would it put me in danger after four years? I don't know. I, I wish I could help. I really do, but I know as little as you do. You must want to know. Of course I want to know. It hurts me that there are things the Duke doesn't tell me. But I, I stand by his wishes, if it's that important to him. Is he in danger as well? I don't know. He doesn't say so, but I believe he is. It worries me. Him being in prison, I can't protect him there. Yes, it worries me too. There is one thing you could tell me. What is it? Well, Duke said this uh, incident that he can't talk about it happened in Lorient. I know that Angus Mackay is involved. Do you know him? What did Duke tell you about him? Nothing. Nothing much. Just that uh, Angus was trying to protect him. Well, um, I, I can't really tell you anything more than Duke's already told you. I have as many questions as you do. This must be very difficult for you. I, I, I won't pester you with my questions anymore. It, it, I don't think it could be for me. I, I left word at the hospital. Oh, it might be for me. I left word at headquarters. Excuse me. Hello? And it's Frisco. Headquarters patched me through. Hi, Frisco. What is it? Uh, can you meet me at headquarters? Lucy Co. Skip bail. Oh, no. When? Last night. I put out an APB on her. She's got quite a few hours head start on us. Look, I'll fill you in when I see you at headquarters. All right, I'll be right back. Um, you're going to have to excuse me. I have to go to headquarters. Oh. Listen, uh, would you like to meet for lunch later? Oh, well, thank you, but I, I think I should stay in. Well, I'll bring something back then. Y you don't need to go to so much I know I don't need to, but I'd like to. I think we should get acquainted. I'll see you later. Goodbye. This has been the most wonderful day of my life. I'm in love. I've met the most fantastic, exciting, handsome man. I think he likes me. No, no, it's more than that. I think he loves me. Oh, it's crazy. Falling in love with a complete stranger. But I loved him the moment I saw him. And even though it's only been a few days, oh, I know I'll love him forever. Father's coming home tonight. We're having a party. I think I'll introduce them. Oh, please, please let Father like him. He must like him. Because I plan to spend the rest of my life with this stranger who calls 
himself, Duke. No, not yet. And I said to tell you that it looks pretty doubtful they'll even get a lead on Lucy. Thanks. Well, that doesn't surprise me, seeing as she had all the time she wanted to leave town before we even knew she was gone. Look, Anna, I thought I could find her. I wanted to bring her in myself. You say you had a suspicion that she sent this note to herself. And after you said you were taking it to the police, she panicked and ran. You still believe she's innocent? I don't know, Anna. She says no one would believe me, and she's going out to seek the proof of her innocence. And you believed her. You know, Jake, I can't believe you'd be so gullible. Yes, Frisco, I believed her. In spite of her history and all the evidence we have against her. You have no evidence. Nothing that would hold up in court. It's all circumstantial. I wouldn't be so sure about that. This is a clean magazine of the one you found in the trash at Lucy's apartment. Now, this is some pages she cut out. This is obviously one of the articles she cut out of the magazine. What's your point? Well, if you look right here, you see the letters on the note that she supposedly got threatening her match this particular article in the magazine. Now, these are shreds of pages found in the trash in Bobby's office also that Lucy cut up. Doesn't prove anything. Not yet. But if we have enough time, we're going to be able to put all this together. And we might just have the proof we need. That is, not knowing exactly what letter fits in the threat, supposedly, to Lucy. You are really reaching, Frisco. Well, you can't ignore the fact that the pages were taken out of the magazine and cut into strips. That magazine was sent to Lucy at the hospital. Lucy says she doesn't even subscribe to the damn thing. It is possible, you know, that it was sent to her with the pages already missing. Well, it's possible, Jake. Yeah, but not likely. It is just as likely I, as your scenario. We're not accomplishing anything here. No. Do you know where she might have gone? No. She must have gone somewhere. I'd like Lucy's fire brought up, please. Thank you. We're going to go through that file with a fine tooth comb. I want to know everything about her, where she shops, what movies she likes, she has for breakfast. And we'll get a clue as to where she went. Nothing. Nothing here. There's nothing in the file that would give us any indication as to where Lucy might go. No work from the APB either. Well, Jake, did you notice anything unusual around her apartment? Something she might take as a disguise or something? I suppose anything's possible, Frisco. I mean, she did walk into the bathroom with clothes over her arm. Maybe she had a wig that she stashed in there, too, in case she wanted to make a quick getaway. That's very funny. Do you, do you remember the clothes that you saw? No, I wasn't paying any attention. I couldn't even tell you what colors they were. Look, I need some air. Do you mind if I step outside for a minute? I promise I won't run away. Of course. Thank you. Think of being a little rough on him? Yeah, I guess I am. I don't really think that he'd help Lucy Kill escape. I don't think he did either. I'm gonna go apologize. It's a very good idea. Oh, Dan. Ah. What's the matter? I promised I'd have lunch with someone. Well, go ahead. I can take care of anything here for a while. All right, I'll hang around for a little bit. The men in the field have just got the picture. Maybe they'll come up with something. Yeah, I hope so. I'll be outside. Yeah. Jake? Oh, come 
don't know. I was beginning to get worried. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was... That's just strange being in Duke's apartment. I... I, I, I never think the phone's for me. Well, you better start answering it, because I'm going to be calling. How are you feeling? Oh, a little stuffy, but I'll live. I hoped that I'd be finished by now, but uh, I got hung up on things. Oh, and I really don't have to fuss over me. I'll be fine. I'm not fussing. I promised you lunch. Are you up to it? Ye yes, but um, I'm sure you're very busy, though. Everybody has to have a lunch break. Now, I'll be over, and I'll stop by and pick something up on the way. You like pizza? I love pizza, yes. Good. I'll stop by at Dino's. I shouldn't be too much longer here. Well, I, I hate to, for you to go out of your way, but if you insist... I insist. I'll see you later. Father just called from the station, and wouldn't you know, he's bringing a business associate home. I hope the man doesn't stay long. I wanted Father to meet Duke, and there are to be just the three of us. Why did he have to bring someone home today, of all days? Later, I'm sitting in my bedroom window and I see Father's car coming up the drive. The man with him has a beard. And even though he's young, I hate him. I hate men with beards. And I hate anyone who's going to take me away from Duke. Even for a moment. You got the flu. I want you to go home and get to bed. We'll be fine. Okay, thank you. Duke, I'm gonna uh, go to the cabinet office for lunch. We'll be back about now. Okay. We just got lucky the warden's secretary's going home sick. Yeah, this will make it a little easier, won't it? You heard the us? Yeah, they're already a move at one o'clock. One o'clock? Good. Would you like something to drink with your pizza, maybe? What's the matter? No, oh, please. What is this? It's, it's nothing. How odd. Could I have it, please? Did you draw the beard on his face? Yes. Well, why? I, I don't know. Well, what is it? I mean, Frisco arrested this man and put him in the state penitentiary. Why did you say this article? I don't know. There must have been some reason. Why? Is it this man? Do you know him? I don't know. You don't remember? I can't remember. I... Do you know who he is? I don't know. Looks familiar. It's a bit difficult with this beard you've drawn, though. Yeah, I have seen him before. That's right. I saw him in the state penitentiary in the warden's office. And 
Duke saw him. He acted very strange. What did he say? We didn't say anything. I could just tell he was upset. Camilla, why did you draw a beard on this man? He looks like someone I think I remember. I just... I... He's bad, though. He, he's very bad, and he mustn't be allowed to hurt Duke. Why would he hurt Duke? I don't know. That's so mixed up. It's not the same man. It can't be the same man. The bad man's dead. What bad man? Who's dead? That man, the bad man. What is it? Is this something from your past? Something to do with Lolly Ann? I don't know. You must try and remember, because Duke's in prison with him, and he could be killed. It, it can't be the same man, because Duke said that the bad man is dead, and Duke wouldn't lie to me. called Jonathan. You arrested him the other day and, and put him in the state penitentiary for car theft. Yes. I just read it in the paper. Listen, I, I, I want to come down and talk to you about it. I need to ask some questions. Okay. Stay right there. Thank you. Come here. Come here. I want you to come with me. Why? Because I think you can help. If this has anything to do with Lolly Ann, and the past, and Duke could be in danger. Will you come with me? Please. For Duke. All right. For Duke. Come on. Get your things. Anna. Hi. Hello, sister. I was just getting an update from Sam on Lucy. No luck. Okay, I don't want any more talk about Lucy. Would you sit down, please? Yes, yeah, please. No time for explanations. I want you to tell me everything you know about this Jonathan guy. Jonathan? Uh, he stole a car last week. He was being chased by one of our men. They both wound up smashing the cars. He stole a car and was being chased. That's right. I had to crash outside and went down to check it out and wound up going after it. I read in his article that he was out on parole. Yeah, six weeks to go. He's been free. Why was he sent to the state penitentiary? I mean, he oh. could have spent his time waiting for the parole hearing right here in the city jail. There wasn't any room here. I had to go straight to the state pen. He didn't seem to mind, though. What do you mean? I mean, he didn't seem to object. He was sort of happy about getting three meals a day, I guess. What's the matter? What's going on? I don't know. It seems terribly wrong. Hello? State penitentiary. Hello. This is Chief Anna Devane here at the Port Charles Police Station. I need to speak to the warden immediately. Hold on. I'll connect you. Hello? What's happening? I'm sorry, we have an emergency. What? I can't stand What's an emergency? Let me speak to the warden. Hello? What's the matter? I don't know. I got cut off. They're afraid to cut me off. There was an emergency. There were sirens, and I don't know what's going on down there. You mean like some sort of riot or yes. something? Yes. Yes, exactly. I'm going to get down there. Something's going on. Duke, you and Angus, stay put. we got to break out in one of the sections. Guard, have they isolated the trouble spot? Not yet, warden. All right, get the prisoners back in their cells. Is B section secure? Yes, sir. All right, check out this closet before we leave. All clear, Ward. All right, come with me. I want this place sealed when I leave. All right, sir. late for what? What the hell's going on? I don't know. I think that this man, Jonathan, got himself put back into the prison deliberately so he could get Duke. You think he's a member of the mob? I don't know. Will you get an escort to take Camelia home? I'll call you as soon as I know something, all right? Yeah. I also want you to put his name, Jonathan, through the computer. Find out anything you can as soon as possible. Got it. Listen. Wait, wait. I don't want an escort. I'm coming with you. No, no, I, it's too dangerous. I don't want you to do that. If Never Duke mind. is in trouble, I want to be there. Maybe I can help. 